I heard a car would be a by Jeff Stewart. It's about a 4.2% beer. It's um, made with six row barley, and six row barley is what uh, American lagers are made out of. So it's it's not a real strong beer, like the German beers which use two row barley. Mm -hmm. It's a um, it's a mild beer because there's a lot more protein than there is fermentable sugars. So cheers. cheers. Absolutely, you could definitely drink that with a nice barbecue. Mm. It struck me that of course it's wet and it's barley. That's what yeah. About, yeah. Yeah. I can taste um sweet. It's, a, it's a little honey. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a definitely very, sweet. Very yeah. different honey taste. Yep. It's not too sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I can't I don't get the hood of with it. Yeah, it's pleasant. Mm. The smell is totally different than the taste though. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. different than the taste. Yeah. It's been bottle conditioned for two months. It was fermented for a full um, 12 days, so it's definitely finished producing as much alcohol as it can. What would you liken it to if you were going to liken it to another beer? Nothing in New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> I mm. can't think of anything that no, would... Lager that, uh, no. uh, about any English lagers that taste... Uh, no, they're all quite dry. It's a bit like a Canadian lager. Well, I, would, I would start to move towards a cider <laughs> that it's got a... Got a little bit yeah, of a there's, there's a bit so. of a pear cidery sort of taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a there's a it's a wheaty the, the whiskies that it smells like are not the normal ones. It's the um, the ones the peat ones. The peat. Those peat. peat. Yes. Yeah. It's got that, that earthy pungent. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So after taste isn't great, I would say personally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it just goes. Yeah. It does. It goes. It's yeah. Nice. So it doesn't. It does around too low. Yeah, it goes very fast. Yeah. You can drink a, uh, a bottle of this and drink almost anything afterwards without yep. ruining it. Yep. Mm. Which is nice in some ways. That's what we want. And the nose on it is very distinct. That's a, that's, you know. It is, yeah. Right. As you said before, it doesn't taste like the nose. <laughs> the aroma would take it down a notch for me because it was just a little bit strong. Um, appearance, I liked it. I like it. Clarity, yeah, it was. It wasn't too bad. It's, it's good for a, a bottle conditioned beer. I'd say it's not too bad. I'd give it a four out of that. Flavour, I'd give it a easy nine. Very drinkable. Uh, without being too strong. Mm -hmm. uh, after taste, sweet. Yeah. I was told to serve it at a, at a warmer temperature because the taste started to dissipate. So that sort of. Um, meant to me that it, had a, it would have a lot of flavours as you go for and drink it throughout the night it would start to change quite a lot so I'd definitely give it a 9 for the taste. Yeah, I mean sometimes the, the flavours crap. That's right. It just has to be cold. Yeah, yeah some of them, <laughs> that's right, some of them are stale. Some of the golden lagers. Very easy to drink. Wait, can I get some more of it? <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, that would be easy. You know, you could sit down for two or three hours and knock back a few pints of that. Mm -hmm.